If you want to study medicine in Egypt, this video is for you. Hi everyone, this is Qari Khalid, second year student, head of admission department in Association of International Medical Students, which is part of ISO International Student Office, which is our home. If you watch this video carefully and follow us step by step, you will make sure that you don't have to use any agency to have application in Egypt. We are going to talk about three points here in this video. One about how study system in university. Second one, what you want to do to have application here in university. And the third, any question that students may face in Egypt. Hi, I'm Rahma, a fourth year medical student. We are currently in the community building. I'm here to discuss with you about the academic system changes. Now, walk with me. Well, the curriculum has changed. Before, we had three years for the preclinical phase and two years for the clinical phase. Starting from the past year, we now currently have 2.5 years for the preclinical phase and 2.5 for the clinical phase. Well, we also have good news. It's easier to pass now. How, you may ask? Two reasons. One, the percentage required to pass for the final exams has decreased from 50% to 40%, and the credit hour system has changed from 10 to 14. All these details are explained in the study guide attached below. Thank you. Hi, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullah. My name is Ammar and I'm a third year student here. Right now, I'm going to talk about the update and changes in the admission procedure. Before I begin, as you all know, last year in our videos you have seen, we mentioned that uh, Anshams University's fees is about to change and it did change. Uh, the students who have studied, who have joined our university last year in 2023 and 24, they have they have paid seven thousand dollars for the year. But this year, we are again expecting that there will be a change in fee structure to eight thousand dollars, but not sure yet. It is not confirmed. So so far, the fees in Anshams University for one year is seven thousand USD, with the expectation of increasing to eight thousand dollars. Now. Coming back to the steps of admission procedure, as you have watched uh, in our previous videos, we divided for your help, for your understanding, we divided the admission procedure into two parts, the pre-travel phase and the post-travel phase. It is again the same, the steps are still the same with few changes. When you are applying, as you, as you are aware about it, you require three documents to be ready. Uh, when you are at your home, the first steps, when you make up your mind that you are now going to study uh, in Ayn Shams University or you are going, going to study in Egypt, you have to go to the official website of Wafidin. Uh, the link of the website is attached with the video and there, while filling the form, you require your mark sheet, uh, 10th and 12th mark sheet, secondary, higher secondary mark sheet and your passport copy. These will be uploaded on, on the website. And after finishing your online application form, you have to pay $170 there. After you have filled your form online and paid $170 USD, you are supposed to wait for your application to be accepted. It takes approximately a week or more time. Once you are accepted, you will be issued a document, Ifada, it's Tarshi uh, al-Mabdai, which is the initial nomination letter which states that you, uh, the university that you have been accepted for, along with it, it states the second, uh, second time that you have to make the payment. Uh, let me make it easy for you. The payment that you have to make for the second time, it includes one admission fee, admission fee of $1,500. Then as per the number of gap years you have, for example, if I pass my 12th standard in 2024 and I am taking admission in 2024, then there is no gap year for me. But if I pass my 12th standard, higher secondary standard in uh, 2023 and now I am taking admission in 2024, then I have a gap of one year. So then I have to pay $300. Similarly, if you have a gap of two years, then you have to pay $600 and so on. Thirdly, you have to pay a uh, coordination fee of $170 and you have to pay a uh, membership club fee of $150. These are the payment that you have to make uh, in, the, the, in the second installment. And the most important part that you have to make this payment within 14 days of the time you get this initial uh, acceptance letter. From our previous experiences, we have seen there were some students who paid this fee in their own country going to, the, to their local bank. Please do not make this mistake. 
if you pay this amount in in cash to the cashier in your country's bank this money will not reach to the to wafidin rather this procedure is only applicable if you are in egypt and you are going to uh, any branch of bank mr otherwise from your country you have to pay online you log in to your website to wafidin website in your account and there you have a section to attach your uh, card you fill in the details and make the payment please uh, remember this hi we receive a lot of queries on our uh, instagram page at the red aims.asu and we welcome them feel free to ask us questions and our volunteers will be guiding you these are the few frequently asked questions we have been asked when the admission is starting we are expecting it to start in the mid of july in the in this july month uh in the start or mid uh, any time let's see we follow up with uh, this on the website uh, the wafidin website the link is attached in the video second question that we have been asked uh, about uh, uh, yeah we want to inform you that getting hostel is a difficult procedure and it it has very less probability because we are a lot in number and seats the beds are limited so even uh, many parents uh, who are sending their their daughters they want them to stay in hostel but that is just a probability although it is still safe uh we can rent apartment here and uh, uh although it is a hectic procedure a difficult procedure indeed but it is doable and feasible uh thirdly in the current scenario the the political scenario ongoing all across the the globe especially the neighboring countries around egypt uh parents often ask is it safe to travel in egypt yes it is totally safe we all are happily here alhamdulillah and we uh, do not feel or face anything at all uh there i just uh, want to tell especially those who are from uh, non arabic speaking countries you will be having a language barrier because most egyptians in local they speak arabic language uh, that is a struggle alhamdulillah studies here are in completely english language but in internship and in clinical phase you'll be facing difficulties so get the habit of practicing and learning the language and internship here is for 2 years 5 year studies and 2 years internship and internship you are not paid in internship rather you have to pay and uh, medicine requires dedication it is tough uh in the words of dr naira uh medicine is not hard but it requires hard work so if you require to dedicate yourself completely it is a challenging job that you are signing up for so prepare your mind don't take it just because your parents want you to do uh take it because you want to do it thank you